Right now, the COVID treatment. While a government panel says it will not recommend plasma from recovered coronavirus patients be used to treat those battling the illness, a Georgia man tells News 4 Jax it saved his life and he hopes donors will keep coming forward. The panel with the National Institutes of Health said Tuesday there's not enough solid evidence when it comes to convalescent plasma to treat COVID-19 two weeks after the FDA authorized its emergency use. Well, that order has opened the door for more patients to receive it and has led to one Jacksonville blood bank seeing a 500% increase in demand. News for Jackson reporter Vic Michelucci, who recovered from coronavirus, shows us the process. <laughs> Last month, Robert Westmoreland's loved ones did not know if he'd be taking his last breath when the 71-year-old was hospitalized with the coronavirus. How bad was it for you, sir? Uh, it was a life-changing experience. You were, as cliche as it sounds, fighting for your life. Pretty much. So I just point blank asked her, you know, what are his chances of making it? She said, well, if I had to tell you today, she said he's got a 20% chance of making it. As he lay in the ICU, doctors tried remdesivir and oxygen, but he did not improve. So then they wanted to test out convalescent plasma. It worked that fast, so they felt like, you know, that that had to be what was helping him because it was turning him around, whereas the COVID medicine had not done anything in like three days. Now back home and recovering with his wife, who had a less severe case, Westmoreland believes in the power of plasma. Convalescent plasma comes from the blood of people who have recovered from COVID-19. And while not yet clinically proven, many doctors believe it may help people recover faster and make the sickness less severe. It's promising enough that I wanted to donate my plasma. <laughs> I had the coronavirus in July and August, and medical experts I spoke with say my antibodies could save four to five lives. So I visited the Life South Donation Center, went through an extensive screening process. Okay, let's do it. And started to do my part. So what this machine does is it's able to take just your plasma, and then it returns your red blood cells and platelets black in your body. Karen Patterson and technician Skyler guided me through one small needle stick in my arm and I was donating. The goal is to not look at it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's different. Believe it or not, some people like to look. I'm not one to look. <laughs> it really wasn't painful and I felt fine. It took about 90 minutes to get enough of my yellow plasma to help others. It's the final countdown here. They've just got a few more milliliters to pull out to reach that 800 milliliter goal of my plasma. The samples taken from Life South go to Baptist Health, Memorial and Orange Park Medical Centers, and they're put to use quickly. The demand is so high, and we haven't seen as many donors donating convalescent plasma as we'd like. So this is definitely not gonna be sitting on a shelf. It's gonna be seeing somebody probably about tomorrow. And with that, patients like Robert Westmoreland could be getting better. He and his wife are thankful doctors tried this different type of treatment. I don't understand why anybody would think twice about it, especially when you're on such a slim chance of making it as, you know, as Robert was. So, you know, you're going to try anything at that point. The Westmorelands say they want to give back, and as soon as it is safe to do so, they plan on donating their own plasma, which should have antibodies in it. You do need to be symptom free for at least 14 days and test negative before you can actually donate convalescent plasma. It is free for the donor, by the way. Vic, Robert went from uh, just a 20% chance of survival to now he wants to donate plasma. That's yes. pretty incredible. And he could save up to four to five lives just like you as well, right? Mary, they're a great family. And yeah, they absolutely believe in the power of plasma. And you heard it from his wife, Debbie, right there. She said, we don't know. The coronavirus hasn't been around long enough for us to know exactly what the effects of convalescent plasma are going to be, but it helped us. At least we believe so. And now it's our turn to give back to someone else. And that's how I felt too, because when I was fighting this virus, thankfully I wasn't hospitalized. I did not have nearly as severe of a case as Robert, but certainly I thought of all the people that helped me with just thinking about me, sending kind messages, sending food and meals. And I said, there's going to be something that I can do to give back. This I was one of those things. I remember you saying that yeah. in the midst of it, and now here it is. This is one of them.
one of many that I plan on doing. And, you know, we just don't know. It's a new virus. There's a lot of unknowns. And one time you hear that plasma is good and the other times you hear that it's not really helping people. That's the dilemma. Thank you, Vic. So for a list of places to donate convalescent plasma in Jacksonville, you can look for this story on the homepage of newsforjax.com. And those looking to receive it must be in the hospital and they must receive doctor's orders.